Hey guys, Pete here from the Sunday Drive. Today I'm going to be installing the protective clear bra um, in the door handles of my C7 Corvette. So this is 2017. It should work for all Corvettes that have the recessed door handles like C5, C6s, and C7s. Basically, I always have a mini heart attack anytime someone that's wearing rings puts their hands inside of that recess to open the door. Usually I'll open it for them or I'll try to run in and open it from the inside. Basically, I ordered a kit off of eBay. I did that so I could trace the template and share that template with you guys. So I'll have that in the video. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to install it. I've never installed clear bra or vinyl before, so we'll see how that goes. It's stupid simple to do, um, but you know, sometimes it's just nice to see someone else do it. The brand is Laminex, and uh, it seems like it's thicker than most clear bras. I'm not really sure, I haven't touched them, but um, it's harder to work around the edges. But it does do it. If you're just persistent, it will work. So yeah, stay tuned. So here's the package they came in. I ordered these off of eBay. They were $13. And these are the two pieces that you get. Now, these aren't the most precisely cut pieces. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be perfect. And just in case you have some clear wrap laying around, this brand right here is Laminex. You can go ahead and make these yourself. What I'll do is I'll trace these out on a piece of paper for you. So that way, you don't really need to buy these if you have any extra laying around or you want to try it yourself. So I'll trace these out and upload a template online so that way you can make them yourselves. I'm going to be using a, well this is just a spray bottle, but in it I have a mixture of, it's like 700 milliliters of water um, and two drops of Dawn dish soap with a cap full of 70% isopropyl alcohol. So I've never done this before. I don't know if that's a good mixture. I'm just like collecting everything I saw on the internet and it seemed like that was a pretty good blend. Some people mix in their IPA with this. Some people have a separate water bottle or a spray bottle filled with IPA and water and then they have one with Dawn dish soap and water. So really depends on what you want to do. I'm just going to try this out and we'll see how it goes. First thing I want to mention is that these are driver and passenger side specific. So you want to make sure that the paper side fits into the handle slot nicely. If you try to put the wrong side in, as you can see, it's upside down, it doesn't fit right. That's the first thing to note. I'm going to spray this on clean up any contaminants. And then try to apply this without messing up. There's already some scratches in here, so a little late to the party. I also wish I would have applied this to my entire front end of my car, so that that would have avoided any rock chips on the front that I have, but can't win them all. Spray it up. Let's try this out. Vinyl. And now try to apply it so that it looks decent. I also forgot to buy a squeegee, so I'm going to be using a credit card. These are electric go-karts. These things are sick. You should try one out if there's one near you. Try to push the fluid out. I don't think that the liquid is necessary for this kind of installation since it's so small. But I wanted to try it out because I do plan on attempting to wrap the front end of my car. Try to push the fluid out of this bottom edge. For all I know, this could be a video on how not to do it, so if this does not work, then you know not to use the mix of water, fluid, whatever that I did. So on the top edge, I'm trying to brighten this up, it looks like it's not really sticking right here. Try 
I get no glare. There you go. See? It's not sticking up there. I think it's hitting the curve on the top. Here as well. So I can keep working with it and see if it sticks. Just apply pressure along the top edge. Kind of hope that if there's still water in there, it gets pushed out and this microfiber will just suck it up. Well, let's try the other side and see how this dries up. So this is really annoying me. I actually ended up taking a straight edge and just cutting the top edge to be perfectly straight. That way it'll sit in there perfectly. Um, I'm tempted to try and do this one dry. So I'll clean it and then dry it off and then try to apply this. And I'll leave enough so that I can pull it off if I have to and then reapply it wet with the solution. All right, so that's nice and dry. I'll peel the top edge away. You know, now that I have the top in there, I'm going to spray some. That way, if there's any dust in there, it'll be washed out. Just work my way down. Trying to keep the bottom from making contact because the bend is in there, so I don't want to be pulling away from the bend. And... I don't know if you can see it, but it's overhanging this edge. So I can try and score it with the razor blade very carefully. So I'm going to lay this card underneath. And then cut or score it ever so slightly. Peeled away. Tip cut it perfectly straight because it will save you some aggravation and it will just look better and fit better. If you run extra on the bottom, you can do what I did and use your card and just slightly score it, and then it should peel away like a zipper. I didn't even damage the car, that's how light I pressed on it with the knife. Now, Laminex does claim that the film can breathe, uh, water should be able to escape through it. Uh, so if you see water under it, it should come out after a couple days, maybe being exposed to some heat. If you have a heat gun, you could do that if you want to expedite the process. I'm just going to let it sit and see what happens, see if it bubbles up or anything. You can see right there, some water underneath there that's supposed to kind of breathe through and evaporate. So, we'll check out the passenger side while we're waiting. So the passenger side is sticking at least, along the top edge, and there's a couple little spots on here. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna trace this template for you onto a piece of paper. This is 11 by eight and a half. I'll scan it into a, a document, so that way when you print it out, it'll be 11 by eight and a half. Doesn't need to be perfect, because this sure as heck is not perfect, but I'd like to get it as close as possible to what they gave me. All right, so this is the driver's side. Now I'll flip it over 
like that. And this will be the passenger side. Sorry for being a lefty, my hand's in the way. There you go. So I'll upload this. I'm not sure where I'll put it. Uh, you can always email me and I can send this document too. So, you know, worst case scenario, we'll do that. So here it is with the door closed. You can see right there's the edge. Um, it's not the perfect fitment. See right there, it's a little bit more of a gap. I probably would have cut more of the line straighter realistically if I thought about that beforehand. I will probably recommend that you do that. So use the template I drew, trace that, and then straighten up the lines around the perimeter and it will come out way better. So there you go, that's how you install it. So this is about a week later. Um, I came back with a heat gun and I'm going to try and persuade some of these air bubbles and I guess there's a little bit of moisture left under there. I actually used the heat gun to peel up a little bit of the bottom part of the protector and then try and reset it with the squeegee and it helped a lot. Uh, unfortunately my fingerprint got in the bottom corner so I kind of messed that up a tiny bit but not a huge deal. 